Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this one, I'm going to be speaking about the narcissist lies and future faking. Before I begin, please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The Narcissist Lies and Future Faking. Future faking is a form of manipulation where the narcissist will lie and promise something about your possible future in order to get what they want in the present. It's all fake and it's intended to deceive you because they're not even thinking about the future and it's not something that happened by chance or without deliberate cause. Narcissists live in the present moment so they don't care about the past and they don't care about the future. They lack honesty and moral principles so they will promise more than is possible or realistic and then they will inevitably fail to fulfill an expectation or promise because they're only saying it to get you to do what they want you to do or to pacify you and take the heat off of them because all they really want is an endless amount of narcissistic supply. They want you to feed their ego. They want tons of praise, compliments and respect. And they may even want money or a place to live. But they also get supply from manipulating you and lying to you. Because then you end up doing things that they want you to do. While they're devaluing you and putting you down. Because they're making you believe that even though you're not getting what you want right now, you're going to get it from them at some point in time, as though they're going to be much better, and you're going to have this amazing life together. They make false promises to get you to envision how life might look, and they may even go along with it for a certain amount of time, but they can never maintain it because they didn't intend to keep their promise anyway. And they couldn't even if they wanted to, because their focus is on getting as much narcissistic supply as they can. So they're just giving you empty promises. They're giving you words that aren't sincere, because it makes them feel good about themselves in the moment. And narcissists are always focused on and mentally involved in the moment. They're not concerned about the future, which is why you should not make excuses for them, because then you're just enabling their behavior. And instead, you need to recognize that they're not someone who you can rely or depend on. It's just that you may justify their behavior because of what they display to you at the beginning. They love bombed you, they gave you this false character and that's what they leave you holding on to because initially when you first met them you may have been excited about them you may have thought that you were going to do things together and share your life with them because that's typically what normal people do when they're, when they're with someone who they're attracted to but narcissists have a different motive because they're driven by envy. So they just want what you have. They want the attention, stability and status. And they believe that if it's yours, it can be theirs too. So that's all they're excited about because they recognize that you're a nice person but they're not thinking about building or sharing anything with you. They're just seeking to achieve things by being with you. So they will make you feel good about being with them. They will give you kindness and a smile as though they're selling you a product until you later end up experiencing buyer's remorse. You feel regret after making a decision that you now regard as being unnecessary or extravagant because you feel like you made a mistake. You feel like it wasn't worth your investment. 
because commitments don't mean anything to narcissists. They just feed into whatever they think you want so that they can extract your validation by making you think they're a wonderful person as though they're reliable and trustworthy. They do things that other people have never done for you. They promise to be with you and to be loyal to you. They make commitments to you of going on trips together, getting married and buying a house together. But what usually happens is that they go on those trips alone and years go by but you never get married. While they expect you to buy the house with your money, a lot of time goes by and they never actually do anything. They just keep making empty promises. They tell you that at some point they will do it, but they never do. And instead, for years they may have been hurting you, while somehow finding ways to justify it. When really, they agreed on something, but they didn't do what needed to be done to complete it. Because they lack determination and resolve, which means that they don't have a useful purpose. So they're never going to lead a purposeful life. They're not showing a strong desire to achieve anything because they don't really care about the future. They will make plans, but that's only so that they don't have to do anything now because they don't really care about you. They lack empathy, so they don't care if you're not happy. They don't care if you don't get what you need or want which means that you're never going to feel secure in a relationship like that because they don't do what needs to be done in order to complete something and make it successful. They lack determination, perseverance and persistence. So they don't make continued effort to achieve something despite difficulties, failure or opposition, which means that it's really just manipulation and there's no point in making plans with them. Because they're liars, they don't care about the future. All they care about is their narcissistic supply. And when they're future faking, it's just giving you false hope. It's making you believe in something better. Or in something working out in the way that you wanted it to. By keeping you patient while you're putting up with all of their nonsense. Because you're led to believe that it's going to work out for you in the end. So it causes you to stop worrying about their disruptive and destructive behaviours when you think that it's going to get better later because you assume that it's going to be worthwhile. But future faking is only intended to make you think about a possible future, to cause your thoughts and feelings to grow without restraint or discipline because your mind is constantly in the future. So you're never going to see any of the things that you're expected to see in the future. Because while your mind may be in the future, you're existing in the present moment. Which means that you're just going to rationalise the red flags because they said they're going to be better. And they will often show you a partial view or give you some idea of what they're promising you. To make it seem like they have the ability to make it a reality. And they will even make slight changes to their behaviour. But then they will always go back on it. It's like one step forward, two steps back. And they will use intermittent reinforcements. Where they make you believe that things could improve. But then other times they will cause chaos and disruption. Because all they're really doing is dangling a carrot in front of you. They're enticing you with a false promise of a reward while knowing that will make you want to put in more, more effort because they understand that you're a good person who just wants to make things work out. And especially once you've already invested so much of your time and energy into it, you're expecting, you're going to be expecting something back in return. You're not just going to want it to stop. And the narcissist knows this. They understand that you're a committed person they recognize your dedication and loyalty to this cause. And they can see that you're taking it very seriously. 
so they know that you're going to be expecting something back in return. The problem is that it's all fake. It's intended only to mislead you, to gain your commitments, your engagement and obligation. That restricts your freedom of action because that's a quality they don't have. And it leaves you in a position where you need to have hope and faith. But you're never going to get what you have hope and faith in because that's the trick they play. They get you to believe in it, but nothing is ever going to come out of it. They will just demand for you to give them more time and they will make up excuses for why they can't deliver on their promise while you're investing more and more of your time until you lose yourself and eventually settle for less because you will never get what you wanted. You will just end up settling for less than what was originally promised after they got maximum effort and results from you. For you to then settle for just a fraction of what they were initially selling you. Or sometimes you may not even get anything because that's the purpose of the future faking. It's so that they don't have to give you what they promised while they're still getting what they want from you. And if you confront them on what they're doing, they may just ghost you because they've already done what they needed to do. They've done all the faking. They've lied to you and they know they can't get any more out of it. They use future faking to get you to buy into something that isn't even real. A promise that they can't even deliver on. But they're just constantly promoting it and getting you to believe in it to keep you chasing so that they can get their supply or whatever else they need in that moment. And they will tell you that things are going to get better. They will tell you that things are going to change but you will never see any progression. It's one step forward, two steps back because you're being future faked. And it's done to make you take excessive measures to correct or make amends for an error or problem based on a false promise that is never going to be fulfilled until eventually things begin to look very uneven, unequally balanced and unfair because you're in a state where things are not moving or happening together at the same time or speed. So you're keeping up your end of the bargain, but they're not fulfilling theirs, which leaves you in unfortunate circumstances. And it creates this glitch in the matrix where it's like this event happening that shouldn't have happened based on previously established rules. It creates an irregularity because while you may have had the commitment, the obligation and all of the excessive measures which were presumably put together to establish a possible future, it never ended up becoming a reality. And yet, while the future was fate, you're real and you still exist. Which means that all the narcissist can do from this point on is live in denial and experience a version of reality that is unique to them but isn't real. A false reality that is shame based because they weren't being in accordance with the actual state and conditions, they weren't conforming to reality or facts and that's how they managed to the future fake but by doing that the only one who ends up being fake is them because you became the person who was meant to align with the future they promised to you. They just weren't capable of making it a reality. So in essence, they created a simulated existence, a facade, where all they can do is deceive and pretend in order to deal with such situations and events, an outward appearance that is maintained to conceal a less pleasant and less creditable regality. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive notifications. If you would like to support the channel, 
You can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.